Hello there and welcome my friends. This is a bit of an ad hoc video. I wasn't really planning on doing a video on this at all, but I thought why not because it's vaguely interesting and you might want to see it. So I bought a couple of new fish uh, that I wanted for a while for my marine system, but unfortunately they're actually freshwater fish initially and I need to then acclimate them over to saltwater. So what I got was some sailfin mollies. Now I haven't been able to find decent sailfin mollies for a long time and that's why in my other tanks where I've got mollies they're actually just normal latapinna but here are some beautiful proper sailfin mollies and what I want to do with these is essentially get them over to my saltwater system and then get them breeding. I have got mollies in my other tanks these are just normal mollies apologies for the algae in the tank here but I am between cleans but you can see right now why I like to put mollies into marine tanks and that's because they do this all day they go around and they just sort of nibble at algae and they're really beneficial as a cleanup crew and because I grow a lot of macroalgae as you can see in this tank it's full of macroalgae they do a great job just keeping it clean and keeping dust from settling on the algae itself. So I'm going to acclimate them into this left hand section of uh, tank but eventually they're going to be going into this tank here. What I need to do though first is try and capture this Lubbox Rass. I've tried already but he eluded me the first time and the reason I want to remove him is because any babies that the mollies produce are going to get eaten by this Lubbox Rass. Absolutely stunning aren't they? And you can see why they're called sailfin mollies because they have these huge dorsal fins. The reason you can actually acclimate mollies from fresh water to salt water or brackish is because they live in that kind of environment in the wild. They have a wide range of areas they live. Some of them live in sort of caves, some live in estuaries and some venture out along the coast of Florida and live in full salt water. So, you know, they're quite an adaptable fish and I really appreciate them. I have gone over the forums in terms of how people have acclimated their mollies over and I've acclimated a few myself already, obviously you can see the ones I've got in my flex over there and I've done it a few different ways with varying degrees of success. Some people have just cut the bag and dropped them in straight from fresh to salt water and although it does work you get a reasonably high mortality rate so that's not obviously the best and then some people will drip acclimate them for days on end, slowly measuring and raising the salinity until they reach, you know, full salt water. And that is going to take too long. So what I'm going to do is actually meet them in the middle and I'm going to do a drip acclimation from fresh water to salt water in this bucket. That's just uh, mud. I'll clean it out a bit better uh, before I start. And with a bit of an airline. There are fancy acclimation kits that you can buy which have uh, flow rate adjusters and bits and pieces like that but actually there's an easier way of doing it so all you need to do is get your airline and get the siphon going so there we go we can see now that we have water coming through and all you then do is just tie a knot in the airline and that will allow you to adjust the flow to drip so yeah, easy, tie a knot, and obviously the tighter the knot, the slower the drip will be. So you can really easily adjust your uh, acclimation speed just by the, the knot that you tie. Basically what I'm going to do is cut the bag. They were packed in pure oxygen, so um, they're going to be really happy in the bag. No smell at all, so that's good. They've been in this bag for a little bit. And I'm just going to pour them out. So they won't have loads of water to begin with. They'll have enough. There's always one that doesn't want to come out. There's, there's enough in there. Um, temperature wise, my shed is really warm. So it's probably a good 24 degrees in my shed at the moment. So no need for a heater because air temperature will keep them warm. Um, in terms of oxygen, there's a big surface area. So there's not many fish in there, to be quite honest. So they won't need that. And then what we'll do is we'll just let this drip and I'll come in periodically, use my refractometer to measure, measure the salinity. But it's been a good 12 hours. Uh, it started raining, a whole day has gone by, well half a day has gone by. The salinity has slowly risen over these 12 hours and they look alright, they're quite happy. A, a giveaway that they're not happy is that they're, they're at the top of the water gasping and 
that means that they haven't really adjusted very well over to the uh, new salinity bar. You can see here they're just sort of hanging around doing a little bit of chasing so this means that they are reasonably happy with the new salinity. I mean, we won't really know until we put them in the system and they've been in there for a couple of days. So all I need to do now really is just uh, catch them out, put them in the tank. It's really quite difficult to catch fish in a round barrel being that the net is square. You just to be quick, put them in. Oh, they look amazing. I really like these mollies. Some people say they're boring. Some people say, why well, keep, you know, mollies in salt water when there's so many other fish that you can choose. But um, look at them, gold. I mean, they look like Anthias. Let's put it. Let's put it blankly. They're so amazing. I like them. I might be alone. Last one in then. There we go. Beautiful. So um, we won't really know if they're acclimated over until probably tomorrow because they can still go sideways. All right, so it's been 24 hours since I put the mollies in. Um, we're gonna have a look and see how they're doing. So it's the next day. The fish have been in the tank for around 24 hours now because I did start acclimating them quite early in the morning uh, yesterday. And yeah, look at them. They're not massively happy. Sitting at the bottom, they're breathing fast. However, none of them are dead. And that's the important thing because when I've acclimated mollies over before, you've, you walk in and um, you see a few dead ones, unfortunately. And this hasn't happened with the south fin mollies. I have accounted for all of them. They are not happy, but they're not dead. And that's gonna be probably the breakthrough moment. I would say that they won't die. They'll just um, be sitting like this for a day or so. And then they'll perk up once they're used to the new salinity. I'm going to give them another day, I'm going to come back tomorrow and have a look at them um, and see how they are, but I would imagine by tomorrow they're probably going to be up and swimming around as if nothing's happened. So I gave it another 24 hours, I left them a day, I didn't really want to end the video on the fish just sitting at the bottom of the tank looking unhappy, so here we are 24 hours later and you can see they've actually come back to life. So it does take a while for mollies to adjust. And fortunately on this case, I didn't get any mortalities, which is amazing. I've never used south in mollies before. I say used, I never acclimated south in mollies before to salt water, only the other types of mollies. And unfortunately with the other types, you do get a little bit of mortality, but it seems with the south fins, you don't get mortality, which is great. I guess they're just more adaptable fish, more used to the salt water environment. So it's wonderful to see them all happy and swimming around. I'm really pleased because it's the first time I've had them in the UK for such a long time and it would have been an absolute disaster to have lost any. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like below. I hope it's been entertaining. If you leave a like, it really does help my videos get seen by YouTube and promoted. Also, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please also hit the subscription button and hit the bell to get notifications. So once again, thank you for watching and happy fish keeping.